If you have a Garmin, these are going to be three features that you must know for race day. Now, on these three features, I'm going to be going over not just what they are, but more importantly, how to use them correctly and some things that you're going to want to avoid. I used it during my training and also in my half marathon last weekend. Pace Pro is designed to guide your pace on race day and it's the perfect feature to have if you have a goal pace on mind. If you've been setting pace alerts on your watch, well you could stop that and you'll want to listen to this. This is going to be on the Garmin Connect app and I'm going to select the LA Marathon under Pace Pro Strategy and you'll see I have the map right here of the race. I have a goal time for the full marathon at four hours, a goal pace of nine minutes, 10 seconds. And check this out. I can adjust the pacing strategy to negative splits, positive splits. You'll have access to how much you wanna change the effort on the hills, make it harder, make it easier. And not only that, you can customize the split times per the mile. So you set this up on the Garmin Connect app and then afterwards it's gonna be on your Garmin watch, that easy. Now, I know what you might be thinking. This sounds like a lot. You might be like, wait, 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 wait. I just like to go by feel. This isn't for me. Pace Pro is actually designed to eliminate the thinking, eliminate all that guesswork that can happen during a run. As an example, I wanted to hit this half marathon in under two hours, and I've been consistent with my training, so I set a pace goal of one hour and 57 minutes. And this can be set up on your computer or from the Garmin Connect app on your phone. Let me break it down on how it looks like on your watch. So this was me on the day of the race. I wanted to use my phone as little as possible and just focused on running. All right, freeze it right here and this is the layout. So on top right here, target pace. This is what I set for myself at an eight minute and 40 second pace. Below that is the rolling pace. It, the rolling pace is just going to be way off right now because of me taking out my phone and filming. But below that is how close I am to the next split. And below that is where you're going to see if you're ahead or below of where you should be. If you're not liking it, you can just go and press up and down on your Garmin watch and it'll take you back to your default screen so you have that ease of mind. Of course, like any other feature, you want to use this a few times before your race and not leave it for the morning of. You don't have to download anything extra. It's in your screen that has your activities. Pace Pro is a fairly new feature, so not all the Garmin watches have it, but most of them do. I went ahead and compiled the list. I'll put it right over here with all the watches that have the capability of Pace Pro. Now, one thing that I do recommend is that if you're using Pace Pro to really reap the most benefits is when you're creating Pace Pro, you select a course. The only time I would select distance is like for me, I selected distance last weekend because the course was completely flat. But if not, go with course nine out of 10 times. Now this next feature is not only gonna help you on race day, but it's also gonna help your family and friends that are cheering for you. Garmin Lifetrack is one of those that's so simple to use. It creates a hyperlink so that your friends and family can follow you during your activity. So, Al started his race. I pulled up the Garmin Lifetrack and uh, we're gonna look at his stats. So, so we're live. This is a starting point. He's going and it's nice because it's moving with him. He's doing pretty good. He's looking like he's on track. Um, I feel like he's actually going pretty strong. A little bit past the nine mile. He's still at pace, so that's really good. He has an average pace of a little bit under nine minutes, so uh, it's at 8.59, I mean 8.54. Pretty strong. Um, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see if he can keep up his pace. <laughs> I haven't seen a drone go up in a while. Try not to hit anything.
The race day widget is really like the cherry on top of everything. Look what you get when you set it up. So you're going to see the upcoming races you have. I filmed this before starting, but it's going to show you how long you have until race day, a prediction of your time, and along with that, you're going to have weather updates for race day. Setting up the race day widget is probably just as easy as the other two features. The only thing different is we're going to want to use a browser instead. So I'll show you, I mean, it probably takes 30 seconds. You're gonna log on to the Garmin Connect website. You're gonna go under calendar. Then you're gonna wanna right click and click event. So I'm gonna search for my event and you're gonna wanna type in the zip code or the zip code of the race. So I'm in Lakewood. Search and then you're gonna see your race right over here, but you're gonna wanna select the right course. So I did the half marathon. Hit that blue button, add it to the calendar. If you have a goal, hit the blue button, add a goal. If you don't skip it, you're done. But we're gonna set a goal time of one hour, 59 minutes, so I don't get it mixed up to the one that's already in my watch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit finish. Boom, your goal pace is there, your goal time. And you can customize it just like I showed you earlier in this video. But at that point, since you used your login from the Garmin Connect, it's already gonna be synced to your watch, it's that easy. So for me, these three features really made it a lot easier during the run, before the run, just to prepare. It, take, it took all that guesswork out. So I'm gonna be using it for my next race, the uh, Los Angeles Marathon coming up. It's my first one, so I'm really excited. You guys probably don't know that if, uh, if you watched my other videos. But definitely, if this video was helpful, please hit that like button, it really helps the channel. Also consider subscribing. But besides that, I'm gonna go ahead and put right over here, if you have a Garmin watch, you're gonna love this playlist. It's a bunch of tips, hacks, things that I've learned throughout having, uh, being in the Garmin ecosystem. And I'll have another video right over there. But definitely I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.